Hello and welcome to my videos. My name is Ashish and today we are going to learn about key encapsulation mechanism that is KEM and hybrid crypto systems. So first of all, what is KEM? KEM stands for key encapsulation mechanism. KEM API is introduced in Java 21. In, in cryptographic protocols, a key encapsulation mechanism or key encapsulation method is used to secure symmetric key material for transmission using a symmetric public key algorithm. KEM is commonly employed in hybrid crypto systems to address the key exchange problem, ensuring that a shared secret key can be safely established between two parties who want to communicate securely. In practice, public key systems are clumsy to use in transmitting long messages. Instead, they are often used to exchange symmetric keys which are relatively short. The symmetric key is then used to encrypt the longer message. A hybrid crypto system is a cryptographic approach that combines the strength of both symmetric and asymmetric encryption to secure data, communication, or storage. It addresses the key management challenges and performance issues associated with asymmetric or public key cryptography while still benefiting from its secure key exchange and digital signature capabilities. Here is how a key encapsulation mechanism works. Step 1 is key generation. The receiver generates a key pair consisting of a public key and a private key. In step 2, the receiver's public key is made available to anyone who wishes to communicate with them, while the private key remains secret. In this case, it is made available to the sender. In step 3, sender generates a new symmetric key. Let's call this key as a session key. In step 4, that is key encapsulation, sender uses the receiver's public key to encapsulate or encrypt a symmetric encryption key, often referred as a session key. This encapsulated key is specific to the communication session and will be used for encrypting and decrypting the actual message or data. Step 5 is key exchange. The encapsulated symmetric key is sent to a recipient or receiver. Next step is key de decapsulation. The receiver uses their private key to decapsulate or decrypt the symmetric key from the received ciphertext, obtaining the session key that was originally generated by the sender. In last step, that is secure communication with the session key in hand, both sender and receiver can use symmetric key encryption AES to encrypt and decrypt their messages, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of the communication. KEM provides a secure way to exchange symmetric encryption keys, even in the presence of eavesdropper or potential attacker. It combines the strengths of asymmetric encryption, that is public key cryptography, for secure key exchange with the efficiency of symmetric encryption for the actual data actual data encryption. KEM plays a crucial role in modern secure communication protocols such as SSL or TLS for secure web browsing and establishment of secure channels for data transfer. Let's look at goals of having KEM in Java 21. In the first goal is to enable applications to use KEM algorithm such as RSA key encapsulation algorithm mechanism such as RSA KEM, the elliptic curve integrated encryption scheme that is ECIES and candidate KEM algorithms for NIST post-quantum cryptography standardization process. So please go through uh, our video on post-quantum cryptography. The link is available in our description, sec dis description section. Enable the use of KEMs in higher level protocols such as transport level, sec level, sec level security, that is TLS, and in cryptographic schemes such as hybrid public key encryption. Third goal is to allow security providers to implement KEM algorithms in either Java or native code. Fourth goal is to include implementation of DeFi Hellman KEM, that is DHKEM. The main motivation behind having uh, this KEM is uh, the traditional technique for doing so is to encrypt randomly generated symmetric key with the public key. But that requires padding and can be difficult to prove secure. A key encapsulation mechanism KEM instead uses properties of a public key to derive a related symmetric key which requires no padding. The NIST post-quantum cryptography PQC standardization process explicitly calls for KEMs and digital signature algorithms to be evaluated as candidates for the next generation of standard public key cryptography algorithms. KEMs will be an important tool for defending against quantum attacks. None of the existing cryptographic APIs in the Java platform is capable of represent representing KEM in a natural way. Now let's look at the code. What you need to do is first of all at the receiver side, you need to generate public public private key pair uh, using key pair generator. So here we are using uh, elliptical curve 25519. 
and we have generated so that is the receiver side has generated public and private key then that public key is made available to server side S sender side that is server side what it does is it uses this public key and encapsulates use and uses this new encapsulator method and it it generates a new key k1 on the receiver side what it does is it uses decapsulator it receives uh, it, it it uses its own private key receiver to decrypt this key and it then it derives k2 from this decapsulate function so in the end you would get this k1 dot encoded and k2 dot dot encoded as a session key or symmetric key both should be equal so this if you look at our uh, hybrid cryptography video and this code it looks exactly same. So thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.